Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group 5, consists of me, Yasmin Luxia, Falia Zakira Utami, and Nadia Alia Fitri. In this opportunity, we will talk about responsibility accounting. This is the table of content that we will discuss. First is related uh, to the definition of responsibility accounting, and then we will also we will also compare um, responsibility accounting versus conventional accounting, and we also talk about the responsibility of network types of responsibility centers, planning, data accumulation, and reporting by responsibility centers, and we will also uh, talk about behavior assumption of responsibility accounting. So, what is the responsibility accounting? <laughs> Responsibility accounting is a term used to describe planning accounting as well as the measurement and evaluation of organizational performance along the lines of accountability. This is because every line will responsibility uh, to their revenues and as well as their expenses that are accumulated and reported by the responsibility center by their own uh, Department center meaning uh, their own department. Its responsibility center in the organization is only responsible for controlling its own overall revenues and costs. The financial reporting system for all, all, all levels of management is specially designed so that they can use it effectively to control the operations and costs involved. One of the objectives of responsibility accounting is to ensure that individuals at all levels in the company have met a satisfactory contribution to the achievement of the company's overall objectives because um, they, they, they report their own costs and revenues. So the manager is easy to, to see what uh, they have performed uh, in, along in the period. This is achieved by dividing the company into individual responsibility centers that provide a framework for decentralized and participatory decision-making at the enterprise level in setting work objectives. It also provides top management with overall data of how, on how segment managers perform their function. So the next slide will be explained by Nadia. Now I will continue this presentation. So the next subtopic is about responsibility accounting versus conventional accounting so um, responsibility accounting is different from conventional accounting in the way operation are planned and the way accounting data are classified and accumulated so in case of conventional accounting data are classified based on their nature or function and are not described as individuals who are responsible for the occurrence and the control of the data Therefore, conventional accounting data have limited value for managers in monitoring their efficiency and data activities. Otherwise, in responsibility accounting enhance the relevance of accounting information by establishing a framework for planning, data accumulation, and reporting that conforms to the organizational structure and hierarchy of responsibility of a company. Next is the responsibility network. So in responsibility accounting network is based on the premise that all costs can be controlled and the problem lies only in determining the point of the problem. For this purpose, the organizational structure of the company is divided into a network of responsibility centers and individuals, or as defined by the National Association of Accountants, into organizational units involved in the performance of a single function or group of interrelated functions, which has a head who is responsible for carrying out a function as output and for using resources as input as efficiently as possible in carrying out this function. Next, I would like to talk about types of responsibility centers. So as you see in this slide, there are four types of responsibility centers. The first is cost centers. So cost centers are defined as areas of responsibility that produce a product or a render a service. The responsibility and a cost center is restricted to the cost. The second type is revenue centers, as defined as a segment of the organization which is primarily responsible for generating sales revenue. The third type is profit centers, defined as a segment of an organization whose manager responsible for both revenues and the cost and the purpose of profit center is to earn profit. And the last 
identified is investment centers, which defined as investment as responsible for both profits and investment. So the next presentation will be continued by Kari. Planning data accumulation and reporting by responsibility centers. Responsibility budget. A budget that companies make for the expenses and revenues that are controlled by a specific manager. Data accumulation, a facility for periodic comparison of various budget plans. The accumulation of actual income and item expenses is necessary for the accountability network. And next, uh, responsibility reporting. The end resu result of the responsibility accounting system is periodic uh, accountability reporting or performance reports. Behavioral assumptions of responsibility accounting, responsibility planning, data accumulation, and reporting systems are based on several assumptions concerning operational and human behavior, including management by exception or MBE is sufficient to control operations effectively. Next, management by objective or MBO will result in agreed upon budgets, standard codes, organizational goals, and workable plans for their achievement. Next, the responsibility and accountability structure co coincides uh, with the hierarchical structure of the organization. Next, managers and subordinates are willing to accept the responsibility and accountability assigned to them through the organizational hierarchy. And next, responsibility accounting systems induce co cooperation rather than competition. We are now in the end of the slides. Thank you for watching.